This video is brought to you by the Turtle Flakes Podcast. Turtle Flakes, the tasty breakfast treat that tastes just like pizza. Prepare to get shell-shocked. Cowabunga dudes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and welcome to another episode of Totally Tubular Turtle Tuesday, the one day of the week where I devote my channel to something TMNT related. So for this episode, I'll be taking a look at... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Bloks Eastman and Laird Collection. Now taking a look at the front of all four boxes, we can see tiny windows showcasing the figures within. On the front of the boxes, we can see images of the four figures and their individual display bases. Turning the boxes around, we can see more images of the figures with their display bases. So with the boxes out of the way, let's crack these figures open and see what we have inside. And here are the turtles out of their boxes. And man, I am absolutely loving the look of this set. I think the turtles look really great in the whites, blacks, grays, and just that touch of red are going to really make these figures stand out amongst your shelves. So what are we waiting for? Let's take a look at the TMNT Mega Bloks Eastman and Laird Collection. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at the Mega Bloks TMNT Eastman and Laird set. Now this is a set I have been dying to review and dying to really get in my hands because I am a big fan of the classic turtles, the classic black and white comic book Mirage turtles. Um, I'm just I'm just really fascinated with those those versions of the turtles, and I think it's really cool that we got them in Mega Blocks form. Uh, before I take a look at the figures themselves, I want to take a look at the instruction manual here. So. You can see how the manual is, it shows you how to put the little playset thing together, the little display stands. But what's really cool, you can see a little breakdown and whatnot of some of the other sets. Uh, what's really cool, I love these other things too, because we get like these, uh, this building right here with like a Casey Jones, which is really cool. Uh, this like zipline set, I don't know if you can see this, 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 this connects to this up here. And like, it looks like you have uh, the shredder up there too. I wouldn't mind finding that set and whatnot. It looks like it comes with a Leonardo figure. So pretty, pretty cool. But you also get like this little mini comic strip type of thing uh, of the turtles in black and white like that with just all red bandanas. Uh, but it's done in like Mega Bloks art because all the little characters look like actual Mega Bloks characters. We can see Casey Jones right there, the turtles facing off with the shredder, uh, all that whatnot. I just think that's pretty, pretty cool. The little extra bonus thing that we get uh, inside the little pamphlet right there. But now let's take a look at the actual turtles themselves. So as you can see, I have them all put together uh, with the four display stands, uh, just like this. Much like I did with the uh, classic cartoon turtles. Uh, it's pretty much this exact same thing. Uh, the real big difference is obviously going to be the color deco and whatnot. Uh, but just like those turtles, we, they are individual uh, display stands. Uh, but you can connect them together with like a little connector piece right up here that connects all four pieces together, so you can have them one big display. So you can have them individually, or you can have them uh, all together like this, and you can mix and match them and things like that. Uh, you even get these little sewer lids and whatnot. Oh, and that just popped off. Uh, that is, so if you don't want to display this big hunking uh, display stand like that, you can just put them on these little uh, sewer bases right here, the NYC uh, sewer lid, and you can just do them like that if you want that, just like so. Uh, so you get a little more display options for your figures, which I think is very, very cool, and I always like it when something can do that, and you have multiple display options. Uh, just like the other cartoon said, we do have these little little panels, like comic book like panels of artwork uh, from from this line, so you got like the, the whole top one's how I put it, uh, is you got the turtles themselves, so there's Leonardo, Michelangelo, a Donatello, and a Raphael over here, and then they, but on, they come with these extra panels, like you got an image of Casey Jones right here, the Shredder, uh, some Mausers, and a Foot Soldier right there. Uh, what I do even like, the way these bricks are done, because uh, even the bricks that you use to put this thing together, uh, they have like this cross-hatching design to make it look like the vintage artwork from Eastman and Laird, uh, which is actually pretty cool. I love that added effect. Uh, pretty, pretty awesome. So let's take a look, look at the individual turtles themselves, because uh, these are actually really, really cool. Uh, so you can see the figures just so. Here's my personal favorite, uh, which is Leonardo. Uh, now, 
Again, these are the Eastman and Lair Turtles, so they're all gonna have the red bandanas. This is before they had the cartoon uh, color coordinated bandanas and whatnot. So this is kind of more like their original form. This is what you would see them on like all the covers of the original Mirage comics, which is actually very, very cool. And I love the, how they did this because what, from what I could tell, uh, these seem to be almost the exact same designs as far as the bodies go, it looks like I can barely tell. I might have a little extras in there, but a lot of this utilizes the parts from the cartoon sets. Uh, but he got a lot of extras. I think these heads are all original and whatnot. And you can see little scratches and dents and whatnot. And all again, very, very cool. All the bandanas and uh, armbands and elbow pads and whatnot are softer, rubbery plastic. Even the belt and whatnot, it is more pliable. Uh, we do get a die-cast metal shells, which just like the cartoon ones, uh, these are really cool because you can actually see how they're almost done in like a silver like just in natural metal uh, i love that first i just think that's a very very cool it's really cool look too so very very awesome uh and i know my friends over there at turtle flakes uh they just uh, reviewed these on the podcast so if you guys like i said if you're really looking for a really cool podcast that's ninja turtles based i think the turtle flakes podcast uh, is definitely the best one out there. So go check them out. They're real awesome guys. Uh, so anyways, back to the figure here. I love the paintwork, how they kind of give it this like dirty look, uh, almost to make it look like it's hand drawn and uh, line work and sh shadowing and things like that. So very, very cool. Even the weapons are the exact same way. Uh, we do not get any holsters for the weapons for any of the figures, uh, but for a character like, you know, Leonardo, you can kind of just like tuck it in the belt like that if you really wanted to and hold them in there. Uh, so pretty, pretty cool. So with him, let's actually take a look at the articulation, because uh, all the turtles are the same. So the heads are on ball joints, so they kind of roll around just like that, turn left and right, look up and down, pivot side to side. The arms can go all the way up and down and out, rotate in that joint, single bend at the elbow, as well as rotation at the elbow. We get a swivel at the wrist right there. Uh, we get these hip joints, can kick forward that much, back about that far. Uh, can kind of like do the splits like so. Uh, we get a single bend at the elbow, or excuse me, the knee. Uh, we rotation at the knee, and then we get a swivel at the uh, ankle right there. So lots of good motion for being such tiny little figures. Uh, I really respect, excuse me, I really respect what Mega Bloks has been able to do uh, with their line of Mickey, excuse me, mini figures. I feel like I can't speak today, but they really come into their own, especially with their TMNT figures. So pretty pretty cool uh, as you can see they're all kind of similar so it's a little tricky to tell which ones are uh, the different turtles and whatnot um, you can see Leo kind of had the, the mouth open on the left side uh, then you have Michelangelo here his mouth is open on the right side or that's his left side right you're right his left yeah there we go <laughs> again so you have the nice die cast shell all the same body paint and whatnot texture and whatnot and then he does have the actual nunchucks with an actual like plastic chain again which is very very awesome again with that red bandana which i think is very very cool i love these so so much so here's donatello again uh very cool we got that staff the one bow staff right there looks really really good lots of paint detail on the weapons too which i really do appreciate uh donatello does have a full open mouth so he's greeting teeth on both sides uh so that's how you can tell him apart from the rest of the turtles which looks really cool you do get a peg hole on the back of the shell which plugs into these little clear pieces right here you can see these little clear tabs uh that's for them plugging in so you can you can you can move these tabs anywhere in these little ports uh, throughout the entire uh, display so you can pose them around and have some do aerial poses and whatnot uh, wherever you like on these so which is pretty pretty cool again here you go you got Raphael now Raphael is uh, which is a little odd because he's the most most angry uh, but he has a fully closed mouth uh, and then he's the one which is actually known for having the red bandana uh, so this makes a little more sense in some ways uh, but you get nice size and nice details with the size with that paint work and whatnot looking very very cool loving these metal shells very nice again with all that great articulation and great detail and sculpt uh, just again very nice pieces I do love this set quite a bit so again uh, if you're a big TMNT fan and you're just looking for some really cool, unique pieces, I think Megablox is doing a really good job with everything that they're doing. Uh, so if you find these, they're really cheap. I think I only paid maybe around $5 each. So that's what, like 20 bucks for all four turtles. For a good set like this with display, I think it's very worth it. And I think they are definitely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, 
Here they are standing next to a Marvel Legends Captain America figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your Mega Bloks comparison, here they are standing next to the classic collection turtles based on the vintage cartoon. And for even more TMNT comparison, here they are standing next to the NECA and Minimates turtles based on the vintage Mirage comic books. And just for fun, here they are standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is, guys. My review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mega Bloks Eastman and Laird collection. Now, overall, I truly love these minifigures. I think Mega Bloks did such a great job. I absolutely love their TMNT line. I love everything that they did with the paint apps, making them look like the original artwork. They've got great articulation, great accessories, and really cool display bases. These are absolutely some of my favorite turtles on my shelf. And with all these things, make for some totally tubular minifigures. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Cowabunga dudes, and stay nerdy my friends. Peace.